Hi, this is Dr. Nikki, and I want to continue the conversation about composing and decomposing. So here we have some frogs, and they're in the grass and on the water. So we have seven ducks in the grass. We have zero in the water, so we have seven and zero, and that makes seven. If one frog jumped in the water, we have six on the grass and one in the water, and six and one makes seven. If we another frog jumped in the grass, we have five in the grass and two in the water, and five and two make seven. If another frog jumps in the water, now we have four on the grass and we have three in the water and four and three make seven. If we had another frog jump in the water, we have three on the grass and four in the water and three and four make seven. And you continue till all the frogs are in the water. So you have zero on the grass and seven in the water and zero and seven make seven. Seven. This is a kindergarten standard about composing and decomposing numbers. And so kids should be able to say all the ways to make a number. And this is the way to teach it through story. And then eventually you make charts and you have kids write equations. But you start with the story. Context matters. And that's how you teach kids to take apart numbers, put them back together in different ways.